So we set ourselves a bit of a deadline for carpeting the stairs and the landing, so it's about time we get these stairs finished. So most of this video will be showing some of the prep work that I had to do to that first flight. It's just been a really long-winded process. Doing that whole cut tread with the spindles going into the old mortises, everything was just, uh, it was just a bit of a nightmare. Uh, all the, the gaps were slightly different. There was, everything had to be done individually, but we got there in the end. So here's a load of footage of how I got to there, and then I've got a little reveal to show you our carpet and the runner that's being made up for us. So it might look like we've taken a bit of a back step in that I've taken everything back out again and it looks you know, like we're going backwards. We're in the process of trying to finish it and get it ready for painting. So I'm taking all these spindles back out. I'm trying to remember which one order they're in. Most of them are regular anyway, but I have numbered them off. And now I've got the tread ends, the kind of nosing on there, like we saw in one of the other videos. Uh, I've, there was quite a big step between, and we've got it as close as we could, so there was a step between there, there was little bits to, to finish off, and this curve wasn't quite the same. So it's a bit of a long process, but what I'm trying to do is just get it so it's all perfectly smooth, uh, and no kind of transition between the two.
So when it came to the actual runner uh, that goes up the stairs and then of course the landing carpet and the second flight of stairs, we wanted to keep it fairly simple and we kind of had two different point of views. Joe was ideally just wanting it plain carpet all the way to the edges. Now that would be possible and it will be possible on the top stairs which is more conventional but where we've got the cut tread, uh, cut string staircase on the first floor you you have to stop it before you get to the spindles so it made sense there to do a runner otherwise you'd be kind of keeping it short on one side and going flush to the wall on the other so we, we decided what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a runner made up but rather than a striped runner that's a real feature we thought we'd try and do it a little bit more subtly so we've actually had one made and we've already picked the carpet that we wanted for the landing and conveniently managed to find someone who can make that into a runner for us with a little bit of a border to it. So here's the sample, it arrived yesterday and um, really impressed with it, it's really great actually. Uh, I think it's what we're going for. This is the main colour we want to run through the house going on the landing and the top stairs which is French grey and it's an Axminster uh, plain carpet and on the side here we've gone for a slightly darker grey and then they've whipped the edge there with a kind of matching thread you could make that whatever colour you wanted you could match it with the light grey but this is what we went for of course it's going to be much wider and then you'll have the dark grey on the other side now Everything's made bespoke by these guys. They're called Stonegate Carpets. We've, I found them on eBay because uh, they sell a, a handful on there. But actually, when you go onto their website, they make they have loads of uh, options there. They didn't have the colour we wanted listed, but when I asked, they actually did. They, they hold nearly all of these Axminster um, Devonia planes in stock, and they can make up the runners to whatever size. So. That's the plan. I've measured up, sent off all the details to the guys. They're going to make it up uh, today. Hopefully it's going to be put in the post today and it will be here tomorrow, if not on Monday. And then we can get fitting it. I'm going to fit the runner myself, then I'll get uh, our fitter in that we've used in the past to do the landing and the top stairs. The runner itself, because it's pre-cut and I kind of know what I'm doing there from the guidance I've received from these guys, we're going to give it a go. Desperately trying to improve the finish on each coat. I mean, this is the third or fourth coat on here. And it doesn't help that I'm using some pretty high quality video lights as my lighting because it shows up just about every imperfection, but just really struggling to get the finish how I want. The trouble is, you can't have a continuous direction of brush stroke because you've got to go in a horizontal here. So it means at some point you've got to go from a horizontal to a diagonal, it's just feathering that enough that it doesn't stand out. I doubt that even on the sunniest of days that we're going to have the quality of light so good as this that it will show up all these tiny bits that I'm trying to correct, but it's better to get it right to start with. So while I let that paint dry and I'll go around and give it a final look over just to make sure we haven't missed anything, uh, the good news is our carpet runner has shown up, fresh from the carpet shop. Uh, it's all been made up, it's made up uh, on Friday and it arrived after the weekend, so literally next day, next working day. So all being well, I'm going to be able to fit this tonight. Uh, the first job is going to be to cut all of the gripper rods and the underlay so they're in place, ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already, you can click down below. Make sure you click that bell symbol. That'll let you know every time we post a video. Next up is going to be fitting this carpet runner. So that'll be what's coming up next. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.